Come on, Jill, pump your leg. Welcome to Gresham On The Go, a fast-paced monthly news show where we'll take you places, talk to interesting people, and give you highlights you need to stay informed and get involved in our community. I'm your host, Larry Morgan. And I'm your co-host, Jill Bradley. Today, we're starting out at beautiful Nadaka Nature Park in the heart of Rockwood, where local youth are at the front and center. They're learning green job training skills, getting experience for the future, all while helping to maintain this beautiful play area for our community. Coming together for deserving youth is at the heart of this fantastic collaboration with city and community partners involved. Here to talk to us today are a few dynamic leaders that know more about what's going on. This has been a real labor of love. We are partnering with many groups, including Playgirl Learn, who brings the students here to get job experience and learn about uh, green jobs in the community. The students come here and they learn a variety of things, including native plant identification, invasive species that we need to remove in order to keep the forest healthy. We're doing trail building and we're doing a lot of other life skill building activities that prepare them to go into the workforce. How's it been for you working in the park? It's been really good. Um, I've met so many new people from the community that I've never met. Um, just a lot of really good positive energies coming from everyone who comes that I meet every day and then by the end of the day it's all clean and nice and just ready for all the kids to just run around and the families to walk through. How crucial is the opportunities that's providing? I think this is a, the most important opportunity because we started to teach our kids how, in, how important the environment is to the world, not just to those kids, not just to this program, but to the world. We know trees bring oxygen. We want a clean climate, so this is the opportunity to give kids. It's like we know this, the kids that start planting trees, they start taking ownership to learning about trees, right? They it's very important to them. Like, I think this is what makes the community grow. You know, it, the day was perfect. I mean, we're out here on a sunny day enjoying <laughs> such an incredible asset here. Here in Gresham is the critical component of, uh, co of community involvement that really makes our community enhanced to the level of appreciation and ownership. I like it. It's very peaceful for me. I like to be here and come here. And now we're going to chat with Steve Fancher, the city's director of environmental services, about opportunities right now happening to get your input about funding for priorities in parks and natural areas. Steve, tell us what's going on. Well, thanks, Larry. Uh, it's a really exciting time right now for Gresham Parks because we have what's called local share coming to us. And this is money from Metro's 2019 Parks and Nature bond measure. Gresham has about $5.4 million coming our way, and we need to uh, evaluate how we can spend that money. And it's for parks projects that provide access to nature. So trails, uh, restoration projects, even picnic shelters. And we really, right now, we want your input. Uh, we're in the middle of a community survey and you can access that survey on the city's website or Facebook page. You might even see us out and around town, but what's most important is that we hear from you. And uh, there's 10 projects you can select from and tell us uh, what your priorities are. As we celebrate Diversity Month, there is probably no one better than Dr. James Mason to discuss this topic. Dr. Mason is the president of OCAT, or known as the Organizational Cultural Competency Consulting and Training. As we talk about diversity, Dr. Mason, as we talk about celebrating diversity, why should diversity be celebrated and why should it be cel uh, celebrated in this context? Well, I, I think um, diversity is uh it's ubiquitous it's everywhere and everywhere i've been has been diverse um uh, it isn't just a matter of, of race and ethnicity but it's all of our different uh aspects of our identity it might be age it might be geography it might be religion and when we just use one lens to see people we might miss something and we really benefit when we really take uh, people's different identities, their different assets, their different resiliencies, their different strengths, and combine those to our mutual best benefit. This 
is one of the volunteer activities that I've led for the past two years, trying to determine what pond breeding species we have uh, in our urban stormwater ponds here in Gresham. And volunteers got to pick their ponds and um, they will be surveying every two weeks uh, throughout February and March. Yeah, it seemed, I, I think I, I felt like I saw several right in the cluster. Yeah. Amazing. And finally, we give you the arts. The music program at Mount Hood Community College is bringing back the Mount Hood Jazz Festival, a three-day virtual extravaganza. Here to tell us more about this free musical event is Dan Davey, Director of Jazz Studies at the college. Dan, tell us what you have planned for the festival and what are you jazzed about? Well, for this year, um, we're holding our festival virtually as opposed to in person to keep everyone safe. And over the three days, we're gonna have six live streamed performances and also six interactive webinars that, that students and community members can tune into and hopefully participate in and be inspired by. Just a really amazing lineup. Um, and you can go to mhcc.edu slash jazz festival and see the whole schedule on there, info on all the artists. You can purchase merchandise. You can uh, find ways to help support the festival as well so we can continue to do these types of things. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I can't wait to take a listen.